Welcome back to AFTV, everyone. It is time for the Champions League draw. Very, very soon we will find out not only Arsenal's score to final opponents, but a potential path to Wembley. We're really excited to react to it all. We're going to talk a little bit about Ben White as well. And we're going to give just some thoughts before we find out who it is, who we want, why, and where that, uh, where that trip around Europe could be in the coming weeks and months, in the final killer two months of the season. I'm here with my good friend Laurie. Respect, and bro. of course, we have Turkish and Cecil over there, either side of... The big prize, the one we want. We refuse to touch it 100%. <laughs> until we get over the line, which I believe we will one day, but we'll chat for another Hopefully day. Hopefully one day. One yeah. day. Well, you don't, you're not, you're not I said that 25 years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but I'm just, it'll happen. I said that 25 years ago. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. When we moved to the Emirates, I thought we were yeah. going to be close to it, but it will happen. It's it will been, happen. It's been a sad. How are we all? Yeah, um, excited. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I yeah. am. I'm excited as well for this. I can't lie. If um, Turkish excited, then you know there's big things. <laughs> <in> <laughs> yeah, man, it's good to be back. Uh, quarter, obviously, quarterfinals. It'll be. I'm excited to see who we get. Um, I was actually looking at. This is a bit random. I was looking at City Extras Insta post. They said, "Please, not Arsenal." So I was quite surprised by that. Um, but I suppose I don't want City. I think, I think, I think we both don't want each other. Um, but definitely want to. I want a brush at Dortmund. We're probably going to get to who everyone wants. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, I want Everybody Dortmund. wants Dortmund. Knock down that yellow wall, man. That's what I want. But yeah. Fair enough. Let's um, let's reflect on Porto and that win before we go. I think we've all, you know, we could all talk to a blue in the face about the Porto game. I think some of us probably have. But um, <laughs> having sat in it a few days, I think we all agree the performance wasn't great. But the one thing Arsenal did show was actually some defensive resilience. And, and they showed that over, what, 120 minutes at the Emirates, add another 90 to that away in Porto. We're still difficult to score against. Maybe we didn't find our fluidity Turkish, but we kept our structure. We, 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 I know the onus was on us to play and attack Porto, but at the same time, they threw very little back at us. And I wonder if that's something Champions League sides might be looking at. Yeah, we didn't make light work of it. I think the best thing we can take from those two legs is the experience of, of a team that, you know, you're the favourites against, setting up to really stifle you, mm -hmm. to really cause you as much issues as possible um, in terms of structure, defensive unit. Even in midfield, we saw in the second leg, they were winning the majority of the second balls, first balls and whatnot. Yeah, so, for sure. Uh, like I said, I respect to Porto for their performance over the two legs. But with Arsenal, I think resolute, yes. Um, wasn't under much pressure, yes. But I think the experience of going to the wire you know, will hopefully bode well for the future. Yeah, you think in the same, Cecil? Yeah, I, I actually want to give Porto credit, if I'm being honest. I, I remember going to the Drago with with Robbie and obviously the boys, and and I've mentioned this before, Robbie said, ah, oh, it was a snatch and grab, but I really was, I just disagreed with him. I don't think it was a snatch and grab at all. I think Porto had a game plan. I think it worked. Um, I think they, obviously, are going, they got the win in the end. They got the 1-0 win, and it, they stifled us. I was I honestly, I was so shocked by, you know, what, Porto did again with Pepe at the back as well. I thought it was going to be able to roll them over, but they got their game plan spawned. And then coming to the Emirates, I thought they'll just sit back and, and just do low block. They made a game of it. And again, I give them credit for that as well. I know, and obviously we went through in the end, but they 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 had a game plan. It almost worked, almost pulled off. We had to take it, um, we had to, take it to penalties. Um, and that's why I credit Arsenal because that was the last thing I wanted on the watch on. I promise you, I was sitting there Say you even said your score prediction penalties. I was like, James, please, it's the last thing I want. And we got there. And for me as a fan, it showed that Arsenal can go to penalties and overcome it. And thanks to Mikel Arteta as well, what he said, you know, we've been practicing this. Or one of the players, I think, said from when he first arrived, um, I think it was Havertz said when he came to Arsenal, they've been doing penalties since they've since they since he joined. So they're ready for it. And it proved to me as a fan that listen, if it gets there, I don't have to be. I was a nervous wreck on that stream. Laurie will probably contest. Um, Attested You're that, a nervous wreck yeah. on every street. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, um, but yeah, but now I know, you know, if we get to penalties, I have a bit more faith in the team. But yeah, fair play to Porto. I mean, they've done well, but we overcome them and hopefully we can go a bit further. I'm just trying to find out Porto's recent, um, uh, the teams have knocked them out in recent years because they have had some tricky games. You know, they have faced the likes of Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea, Pep Guardiola's Man City. But did we learn something, Laurie, about, you know, with this draw coming up very soon? I know we're going to have a team we definitely want to face. We're going to have a team we definitely don't want to face. We're going to explore that one in a sec. But there is such thing as European pedigree. There is mm -hmm. such thing as being here and knowing about it. And I don't think anyone personified that more than Pepe, a 41 years old, mm -hmm. that masterful performance against what was a dynamic front three, what was an Arsenal team that scored, what, 30 plus goals in eight, nine games, whatever it is, something crazy like that. 
and he just stood up to it. And, and Porto, I felt as a unit, looked like we know what this is about. Now, I, I give Arsenal credit for also finding a way to hustle their way through that tie. Mm, mm. But Porto made a really tough one. So whoever we get, I know some people say that they want Borussia Dortmund, for example. Cool. But Dortmund have been here and maybe they don't have the kind of team that can get over the line. Mm. But they certainly are accustomed to this, these stages of the Champions League. Yeah, you're right. And um, first, I want to give you some credit because I think you were the only one, weren't you, to predict that it would, uh, it would what, go penalties. penalties. Yeah, I, I just yeah. didn't think... I think me and yeah. you, out of all the presenters, I'm going to give me and you some credit. We were the only ones that identified Porto as being a threat. A lot of people seemingly were very overconfident and were saying that we were going to get it done in the first leg and blah, blah, blah. I knew this would be... I'd done my research on Porto and I knew this would be a difficult game. Um... And so it proved, and I'm going to say this, right, and I do actually believe this, that of the two games, I thought their manager tactically got the better of Arteta. I overall. think that's fair. I think that's fair to say. Uh, obviously, I'm glad we're through. But it was tough out there, man. And um, you're right. We've got to give, and Cecil's right as well, we've got to give Arsenal credit for coming through, um, showing some resilience. It did help, obviously, that we were at home with the penalties. We won the toss, so it meant that we... Um, we're at the end that we wanted to be. Plus, we came out first in terms of taking I do think that helped too. But listen, we're here now. We learnt the lessons. We came through it. And it's all good. I'm just... I don't know why it's so hard to find their recent results in the Champions League, but just looking, at, looking through at the moment. So the year before, Porto drew 0-0 with Inter Milan and lost 1-0 away at the San Siro. Inter Milan got to the final, so they you know worked them hard in that. In fact, I, I live with my cousin. I've said this a million times on this channel, but I live with my cousin who's an Inter Milan fan. And when we drew them, he literally said to me, he was like, good luck. And I was like, why? He was like, they're just the worst. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So like, what do you mean? He's like, difficult to break down. A lot of the off-field stuff, quite a nasty team, but like in a, you know, in a league, in a good way. Yeah. Um, and that's exactly what we got. You know, Inter Milan came out with the draw there at least, but we almost exactly matched their results, bar a Galeno 94th minute uh, winner. The year before that, I'm just having a look at, it was the groups. I mean, that, to be fair, they were in a group with Atletico Madrid, oh. Liverpool and AC Milan. You look at some of their results, they drew Atletico Madrid, Porto, uh, they drew at sense. AC Milan as well, so they can be a really stubborn side. But anyway, well, in the group stages for for this particular year, they finished runners up to Barcelona, and by all accounts, they gave Barcelona two very difficult games. They lost the game. Yeah, I don't think Barcelona very, had it easy against. Yeah, them they were very at competitive all. against Barca. So. I, I knew that they yeah. would be difficult. Two one and one nil. Barcelona yeah. won both, but yeah, hard work. The yeah. last team I want is Atletico Madrid. Though you spoke about Porto there and Atletico Madrid, that's the last team I want to see. So, so let's face. explore that now. Let's explore who we want. We've got some super chats coming in as well. Rizvan saying, "Give us Bayern or Barcelona." I need closure for all those knockout games over the years. I also want to test our project uh, to see how far we've come. Let's wait for uh, that. Tapping Tobes the super chat. Thank you, Tobes. Hope you get by and need that cane dagger. He said. <laughs> And uh, Rathak says, um, no getting giddy, please, Cecil. Um, <laughs> I'd be interested to see who he'd get giddy over, but okay, let's yeah. explore it. Who do we want? I was asked a really great question on the stream I was doing. It was, what's the tie? What's the most exciting tie? But what's then the easiest tie? Right. It, you most exciting is Real Madrid. That would be the most exciting. Or most exciting round but from the clubs you can wow. see Real there. Madrid. Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, oh. Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Man City, Real Madrid, PSG. Whoever PSG, said yeah. the whoever said the Champions League fell off, by the way. Yeah, ridiculous. And the Europa last date's looking good. We've got some good European football. Mm. Whoa, whoa. No, not on the stream. Um, <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> I can help myself. Um, <laughs> go on, Cecil. You're... you're the easiest, and of course, we can acknowledge that that is yeah. a difficult last yeah, no, no, no one's Can easy. we change easiest to least challenging? Uh, when we say easy, that always More feels... favourable. Yeah, yeah favourable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're probably man looking at us as one of the more favourable. When you say so, easy, it just gives us that kind of vibe that we're just overlooking everyone. Yeah, we did I that against you. Porto, and I'm trying not to fall into that same trap. Mm, okay, so, most favourable... Yeah. No, fair point, fair point. Most favourable for me is the team I want, <laughs> the yellow wall of Borussia Dortmund. Um, the most exciting, I know Turk said they're Real Madrid, I'm going PSG. I mean, Real Madrid obviously got the heritage in this, but Mbappe at the Emirates, the carpet. Uh, I, I'd have a bit of that. I think that's, I think that's for me, um, the most exciting. Obviously, they've got, their, they've got a plethora of players as well that would make that game very exciting. Um, um, probably as well that I don't really want Real Madrid at all. But um, yeah, Borussia Dortmund, most favourable. That's what I want, I'm hoping for. 
Um, and I'd love a trip to Germany. So. Some stats around Dortmund. We last met them in the Champions League in 2014. We lost 2-0 away, but won 2-0 at the Emirates. I remember that. Didn't Yaya Sanogo score? I mean, if Yaya Sanogo is dunking on you guys, then... I can't remember. Well, he yeah. couldn't have scored that many uh, goals. Uh, so I, I think he did, hard. and then he Alexis scored. Sanchez scored that one when it was his first season. Oh, it was in the groups. In spend, yeah, in the groups, yeah. We met them in the groups a few times, because I also remember a year where they beat us at the Emirates 2-1. Jörg, I think both... Were they both young Klopp size? They must have been. Mm. So once they came, they beat us 2-1 and then we went away from home and Aaron Ramsey scored Ozil assist, Ramsey header in a 1-0 win. So, yeah, we've had some interesting ties against Borussia Dortmund. I also remember, we played them loads in the groups. I also remember one when Alex Song got the assist for Van Persie mm. in 2011-12. So we played them a few times in the groups. So we'd be no strangers to Dortmund in this competition. Uh, Dortmund have won three games against Arsenal and drawn once in their last eight fixtures. Um, Dortmund missed out on the Bundesliga last season by goal difference by failing to beat Mainz on the last day. A goal from Bayern's Musiala meant that Bayern won the title again. They now sit fourth in the Bundesliga behind Stuttgart, Bayern Munich and Bayer Leverkusen. Um, Bayern's up there, just quickly. I just think if you stop... I'd like to see them in the semis of France if we get there to stop Harry Kane winning silverware. I'll be honest. That... There's a story to be told there, if I'm honest, but that'd be For me, uh, I must admit, I, I, like, I agree with Cecil. I like that PSG fixture, man. Mm. I think there's a lot of glamour surrounding that. Uh, us versus PSG. Back the Mbappé Pons. at the Emirates. I mean, I personally think Mbappé right now is the best player in the world. To have the best player in the world at the Emirates. Um, listen, man, it's, there's not many teams I would overpay to watch a game, but I think PSG and Mbappé with... Playing for PSG is uh, one I might consider. Okay. And I think Dortmund is probably the team that most people would make us favourites to come through against, more so than any of the others. So, yeah, but me, give me PSG. Well, we've come a long way, haven't we? Baba saying, I want PSG. Uh, we've got Mario saying Barca or Bayern. I mean, look at the confidence. Uh, Ivan says he wants Real. I mean, I guess to be fair, whoever you say, there's going to be confidence behind it. Uh, Madrid versus Arsenal would be close, says Giant. So we've, we've, come, we've come a long way. Let's just show you a clip um, of what I think it was Turkish had to say a while back um, and how far we've come since then. Let's have a little look. Back to back 5 1 defeats, not good enough. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot as Arsenal fans, but 10 2. I mean, there's two things left that we haven't seen losing top four and Tottenham finishing ahead of us. And both is likely to happen this year. I mean, people want to back Wenger and say he's a businessman. What business doesn't take risks? This is not a good business. We'll find ourselves in 10, 20 years with less fans falling behind Chelsea, falling behind Tottenham. All the young kids growing up now, Tottenham, Chelsea, higher than Arsenal, who are they going to support? This club thinks it can maintain itself like this. All they're doing is lining their pockets now. That's all this is, lining their pockets now. This is not a good business. This is not how a business should be run. I'd well, businessman Turk is gone. You are too far off. Nah, but listen, every word is true. Yeah. Now, te 10 years on, Cities, isn't it? <laughs> things look very different for us. But then you've also made the point at times, Turkish, that this is also somewhat back to square one. Like we also got to acknowledge that getting back into the top four was what we weren't happy with for a while. We wanted to be in these competitions and competitive. We're going into an international break, top of the league and in the quarterfinals. How has the club changed in those 10 years for you, Turkish? And has it, did you... Did you think this could happen? Did you see this coming? What, what are you feeling 10 years oh, on? I it's not, yeah, it, it is pretty much 10 years, isn't it? That, that interview was about, what, eight years ago now? Seven oh, years yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. My bad. No, but the frustrations definitely started 10. Um, what did the club do? I think the first thing they've done is something. The club was, you know, too long just, you know, sitting on its own hands, waiting for something to change without really showing the, the ambition for it to change. So... The first thing they did right was actually, you know, look at look at the situation and make some change. And that change came with Wenger, you know, you know, being told that this season will be your last. Um, and since then, they've been quite proactive. They've been on their toes in terms of what they've needed to do. Emery came in. I was happy with that appointment. We was Europa League level. Uh, you know, uh, I want to be in Champions League, but I want to be in the Champions League competing. So at that time, Europa League was our level. Emery come in, happy with that. A year and a half later, wasn't going well. The club actually moved quite quick. Mm -hmm. um, and they brought in someone who not many people 
if any, could have guaranteed um, what we've seen in the last 12, 18 months under Mikel Arteta. Yes, people can, you know, wear the I supported have um, Arteta first badge. You know, it's the I supported Havertz first badge. <laughs> people can do that and hindsight's twenty twenty and all that. But the reality is it was a big risk for the club mm-hmm. and the ownership to take at that time because their backs were against the wall. Mm. Um, me and I know a lot of people wanted a more experienced manager to come in, someone with a bit more clout. So that decision they made with Mikel three years on, great decision. Now wrong. that we're competing and we've seen so-called top managers who have won majors like... To call like Conte, come go, Ten Hag, come soon go. Um, so I think the club have been proactive on their toes and showing ambition. Back really, to square you know, one, though, Turkish is, that. back to square one is one that jumps out at me because you actually used to tell me that like we're back to kind of where we were. Well, Wenger was getting top four, was in the Champions League, and it seems like we, as an Arsenal fan, you seem you know things are really good at the moment, but we are we haven't actually won well, the Premier League or the Champions League. So is it back to square one? Or I would argue we are crossing step one. Cool. And, and to be back in a quarter final and top of the league at this stage, is a, it, it's far better than where our frustrations were starting, if that makes sense. I think if you go back to that interview after the 10-2, if we were top of the league, we'd have gone, we've had an absolute shocker, but OK, mm. we're in a title race or whatever. Maybe it would have been unacceptable, but... That, but the, the point is there was so little to grasp on as you said in that interview and it came true Tottenham finished above us we then fell out the top four and it took us a whole seven years to come back and you used to speak on how it's we had to stay, step, we had to take steps back to get forward it wasn't just going to happen overnight and we are now seeing that you know Mikel Arteta Edu Josh Kroenke mm-hmm. Vinay um, Tim Lewis, you know, and, and many others have worked really hard to kind of pull together. And the players, we are now coming back. Let me just read you. I know this has been done a lot, but let me read you the <coughs> 11 that last played, well, before Porto, that had played in a knockout round of the Champions League for Arsenal. Ospina in goal, Bellerin, Mustafi, Koscielny, Monreal, Shaka, Chamberlain, Oxford Chamberlain, Ramsey, Theo Walcott, Giroud, Alexis Sanchez. I mean, it's a completely different mm-hmm. side. I don't. I, I, I'm sorry because there's some there's some good players there, but I feel embarrassed rocking up with that now. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I feel like we belong in that eight. Mm. Yeah, I remember 100%. seeing on on sorry on social media the photos of when Arsenal reached quarterfinals last. Like Saka was in a baby in the academy. Thierry Henry just won Champions League at Barca. Uh, Mikel Arteta was the captain at Everton. It's been it's been a long time. A lot of a lot has changed and. I know we spoke about, you said about, you know, back to square one, but I think James, you're just spot on there. I think we just kind of crossed that from the position we're in. Um, we challenged so for so long last season. As an Arsenal fan, it, things are going in the right direction. We just hopefully get a favourable tie here. And we can get you, you say that, and I do agree with that to an extent, but you have to be honest and say that our record in Europe, not just in the Champions League, in the Europa League, has not been good at 100%. all. Bro. It's not. <laughs> we just have to, you know what I mean? But we needed that. to just get over that hurdle of the last 16, didn't we? I mean, 14 years incredible. Like, mm. I I know everyone does the whole time flies, but when I when I actually stopped and I took it in, 14 years since I've seen Arsenal in the quarterfinals, and it didn't feel like that long ago that we would get to the quarters against Liverpool. You know, we beat AC Milan, we faced Liverpool, we had that bad, bad night at Anfield. That, you know, when we beat Porto 5 0 and we actually went on a run and we faced Man United in the semis, that, that didn't feel that that long ago. It was ages ago. Yeah, time Unbelievable. Flies. We've had like three, four generations of Arsenal teams since then. Mm-hmm. We've had, you know, this is our third manager to have a go at it since then. And you know, now we're here. Now we're here with the clubs you can see on screen that here yeah, we feel we can genuinely be competitive with. Let's go through the Super Chat. Some great ones coming in. And we're going to talk about some of the other teams in it as well. Benny Blanco with the Super Chat. And we're going to talk about Benny Blanco in a sec, by the way. So six City Extra don't want Arsenal. AFTV don't want City. Good morning, everyone. I hope we get a good draw. Yeah, I think that's also fueled by a... We're in Europe. I'd, I'd like to play a team in Europe, right? Yeah, and we're both challenged. Like we're, yeah, we're playing. We, we, pe- people not to listen. Don't get it twisted. We're not saying people out there that we don't want City because we're scared of them. We're playing City in three weeks' time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We and we'll probably got, have to play them if we want to win it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, this is Europe, man. We want to play. Let we can play City in the final if you get there. As for now. It's quite natural for Arsenal. I'm sure a lot of City fans don't want Arsenal. Listen, no, they the do. Way, that's for the same that's, reason. Yeah, that's the way I worded it is, if I, on our great return to Champions League football, I've watched 
10 games of Champions League football and those are against Lons, Sevilla, PSV, Porto and City, I'm going to want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that will be so disappointing. Not, no, I say no disrespect. That was incredibly disrespectful. <laughs> but like, like, what I'm saying is you, you dream of being in the Champions League a, for the nights we had the other night, which was just finding a way on the European stage in the Champions League, and that's great. But really, like, for the trip to the Bernabeu, whatever, because that's what you're going to have to do if you're going to win it. That, mm. that is just... As is, Man City, when they finally got over the line, had to do it against Inter Milan, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Like, you know, you can sometimes get an ideal run to the final, but that's probably not going to happen. That's what you're saying there, James, because White Yardy just put a super chat in saying, give us anyone but City. Are you thinking that as well or do you, had you yeah have somebody... I, I don't yeah. I, it would and just was... be boring for me like not, not yeah. it would be hard work we'd probably it'd be difficult but I just don't want to but just any so you don't mind if it is if it is a Real Madrid or, or a Bayern you're like it's just, that's it let's do it I've been, yeah, but... I've been tired of playing them for the last 10 years let alone want to play them again two more times in the Champions League I'll be honest it. man like, yeah you know. if we play City let's play them in the final it's at Wembley imagine that Arsenal versus City. Even that, we saw that. That, that would be an amazing show, final. Yeah, yeah. And I actually do believe that, personally, I don't know what you guys think, but to me, pound for pound, City are the best team in this current tournament right now. They're the champions. Yeah, they are. And I do think, player for player, pound for pound, they're the best team in the tournament. Not to say that they're going to... That doesn't mean to say you're going to win it, but I do believe that they are the best team. But listen, as we said... They're a Premier League team. We played them twice already this season. <clears throat> we could well play them in the final. Let's leave that game to the final. Yeah, if we get there. If we get if there. T-Sal says, uh, PSG, Arteta's first senior club, the Emirates crowd, and Arteta with Henri in the building can show Mbappe what the future could be. That'd Wouldn't be that amazing. be nice? Paul says, uh, don't think there are favourable teams. We want a team uh, which we play <laughs> and have a go. I also don't think other teams want to play Arsenal right now. And to that, Paul super chat there. Atletico Madrid will give us a Porto esque set of 100%. games, and I think it's a bad start match up for us. Uh, the reason I keep, and I think a lot of people are like, how can Arsenal fans just back saying they want to go to the burn of our Real Madrid? They're missing the point. I want to see where we stack up against a team that are European royalty. That's what it is. Like Real Madrid will come and have a go. You think? You think Real Madrid? Carlo Ancelotti is a sensible manager. I'm not saying he wouldn't be somewhat pragmatic, but ultimately, Real Madrid will come to play, Arsenal will come to play. I want to see how we go, punch for punch, blow for blow, Real Madrid. I want to see it. Like, and if we fall short, we fall short, but I want to know. Can, yeah. Like, can I ask, can I ask what do, because we said who, who's the most favourable, who you think the most exciting fixture will be. Who do you actually think is going to come out of that pot for Arsenal? Cause total it, guesswork, isn't it? But, but, but what, do, like... Atletico, I think that's who we're honestly going to get. Yeah, Laurie, who do you think is going to come out of there? Well, I mean, it's so difficult to say. I mean, if I knew that, I'd be going down the bookies. Right well, some people now. say this but thing's fixed. Some people say it's fixed and all yeah, this. But, I know. but so, so mate, I've, I've envisioned in my mind us getting PSG. Okay. I've actually envisioned that. And that is the tie that I really would like to see. But listen, I'll take any one of the rest. Turkish, who do you think is going to come out of that pot? Barca. Barca, mm. I know. Abdullah says, uh, hardest to least hardest for me. There you go, he's not said easiest. He said least hardest. Uh, he thinks City will be the hardest, followed by Madrid, Atletico. I probably agree with that three. Yeah, so do I. Bayern Munich, Barcelona, PSG, no. Dortmund. City are City, Madrid are Madrid. Don't want another Porto and Atletico. The other teams will favourably open up. And Yardi, as he said, give us anyone but City. Imagine us knocking Kane out. That would be special. Just some stuff on the other side very quickly. Atletico Madrid, um, they knocked out finest Inter Milan on penalties and last met Arsenal in the Europa League semi-finals. Where we drew 1-1 at the Emirates, but we lost 1-0 at the Wanda Metropolitan. Um, Antoine Griezmann is now all-time goal scorer for Atletico with 176 goals. So we'll have to be worrying about his threat. Barcelona, if we were to face them, we did play a friendly with them in the summer. We were there, out in LA. We beat them 5-3. Arsenal looked really good. good Barcelona, game. they were a lot earlier in their pre-season preparations, to be fair. When we last met in the Champions League, Barcelona beat Arsenal 5-1 on aggregate, a 2-0 defeat at the Emirates. And I think El Nenny scored that wonder goal at the new Camp that counted for absolutely nothing. Um, and of course, they won five Champions Leagues and beat us in 2006. So we've got a lot of reasons to want some history and revenge put right against uh, Barcelona. Bayern Munich, uh, we played them in 2019 in a friendly with someone scoring a late winner in a 2-1 win for the Gunners. Guess who? In a friendly, 2019. What, some, what pre-season friendly? Pre-season friendly against Bayern Munich. It's your favourite player, Turkish. <laughs> 
Granite. Eddie and Ketty. Eddie and Ketty. <laughs> I've had a few favourite players. I thought you meant Bellerin. <laughs> <laughs> would, it, would it be out of the? I'm just curious to know, like, out of all the eight teams in this current draw, would it be fair to say that Arsenal and Dortmund are the two lowest ranked teams in the tournament? So would they've you mean, got but the but least why? pedigree in yeah, this competition? Yeah. Of well, then have they? I mean, PSG, you haven't won it, and they got to a well, final. Dortmund got yeah. more pedigree than PSG. I was going to say they have, haven't they? But yeah. I mean. Yeah. But I, pedigree is the wrong word. I mean, expectation and like if you like, okay, at the people would have PSG the... way higher on their list of likely winners than Dortmund. No, I don't know about way, but I know Arsenal are top three, top four favourites for Do you it. Think, so. You think so? It's a fact. Go to the bookies, you'll see. Mm. We've been that the, the whole season. I think we've been fourth, and slowly moved to third. Because there's but, some heavy hitters in there. Right? I don't think Barca want really us though either. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of teams that wouldn't want to play Arsenal as well, if I'm being real. I mean, City are the treble winners, the best team in the world, really, and they don't want us. I think not just because I don't think it's, that's just because we're in the Premier League with them. I think they also realise how good Arsenal are as well. I think there's a big, big part um, to play in that. So when it comes to experience, of course, there's other teams that have way more experience than us. In it's this. interesting because out of all the teams uh, in the last day, I think Arsenal, Real Madrid and PSG of the teams that are top in their respective leagues, right? Is that right? Say that again, sir. Out of the eight teams yeah. in this quarterfinal draw, um, Arsenal, Real Madrid, PSG are the three teams that are top of their respective domestic leagues. Fair. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I think so. I'll check while we're here, while we're going on. Uh, but yeah. Bayern Munich, obviously, second to Leverkusen. Uh, but yeah, more Super Chats coming in. Uh, Zenith says, PSG um, top, yeah. anyone, ABC, anyone but City. Joel <laughs> would love PSG, Saliba pocketing Mbappe again. We will be there. Um, and uh, Abdirahman says, uh, it really doesn't matter who we get, to be honest. If we want to win it all, come on, you gunners. I think we all agree with that. They're getting ready to do the draw any second now. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm hesitant to start this conversation on Ben White quickly because we are about to get the draw, but just very, very quickly, um, since the video that you guys did, Cecil and Laurie, um, where you talked about, you know, Gareth Southgate's comments, there was an athletic article that came out and basically confirmed that there was, you know, stuff that went on between him and Steve Holland um, in the England camp. Um, and just sort of, I think some of the rumours that, or, or some of the reports that some people kind of refuse to believe, they said, no, you know, stuff did go on. Um, from I, I don't know if you saw uh, an interview this morning with Gareth Southgate on Sky. He refuted that. He, he did. Said, no, he did. You, he and did, you're right yeah. to say that. He absolutely did say mm. that. He, well, he refuted that that was the reason. He said there's yeah. no, he said there's no issue. Yeah. Um I don't know, Turkish, I don't know if you spoke about this on Big Six, but I haven't really got your take quickly on it. Like, do you, ultimately, like, do you care like, about any of this? Couldn't care less, mate. That's kind of how I feel. Couldn't care less, man. I don't care who goes to play for England, who doesn't, if I'm honest with you. Because more often than not, players that um, line up for England at an international tournament come back starting the season under a dark cloud, you know, of fans having got onto them for their performances, because they never get over the line. Um, even though they've got a big, big chance this summer, you know, whether they do it under Southgate or not. So for me, from early, you know, I never cared about players playing for England or representing England because from early, the media and the pressure around here, before even social media, we saw with the Beckham documentary, for example, being one one key um, example over the years. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's, it's a great environment, if I'm honest. Yeah, I mean, the last few teams, there seems to be more... I don't know, more vibes, more, you know, ba balance between quality and that. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I don't care, man. If I'm honest with you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if, if, if any of our players weren't picked. <laughs> I, I've got to be honest, I agree. I, and it's, when I say I don't care, I care as much as they care. If, if it means everything to Saka and, and, and Declan Rice to be a part of that England squad and try and lift honours with them and, and wear the badge, then I hope they get all the caps they want and I hope they play in all the major tournaments and have all the success in the world. And if Ben White wants that, which judging off past tweets or whatever, it seems, you know, he, and, and, and interviews as well, he seemed really proud to be a part of the England setup. Then obviously I want that for him too. What I say I don't care is I, in the sense that if this is the decision he has made and some people are going, how can you turn your back on your country? If that's the decision he's made for the reasons he, he wants to make them, I back him on that personally. I'm like, fine. If it, what's, I hope without saying too cringe. I, I just hope he's happy. Like I, I want it to turn out the way he wants it to turn out. 
Um, People should shut the hell up, man. Turning your back on your country, man. Very sensationalist head- headlines like that or comments like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. please, man. It's just football. If the guy doesn't care about not going, why should we care for him? No. It's uh, happened before. I, I put it in the video that we did. Like, other players have turned down England. The call up, they've done that. Like, it's, it's not just England as well, right? Across many, the yeah, international many spectrum, yeah, exactly. many players have, for whatever reason. Man, getting their feelings so much. That they no longer wish to play for their national side. And I don't think we can overlook that, like, I mean, I, I talked about it yesterday and I was kind of very balanced and I was sort of saying, I understand that Gareth Southgate, to a degree, he, if he's been told, he can't, that basically that he got a call saying that the call up, you know, wasn't possible and that Ben White didn't want to be considered. I understand that to a degree, Gareth Southgate has to somewhat be honest about that. But we were discussing it, weren't we, off air? Actually, he. The more I reflect on it, the more I do think Gareth Southgate could have gone about it a little bit better. I don't think he needed to use the word reticence, which I didn't know what it meant until I looked it up. You'd have known what it meant. Um, and, it, you know, he essentially said a that when I, yeah, like when I reached out to him, there wasn't really a lot coming back, mm. like, which, which I don't think paints him out in a great light, Ben. Well, I don't think Although, although to, to be fair that. to Gareth Southgate, I'm trying to be fair. I'm, no, no, I'm totally. No, it's good. No, bring, bring the balance. I think um, he was responding to questions as to why um, ben White is not yeah. playing. So I guess he felt he had to be as honest as he thinks he can be. Yeah, I also... Um, whether that's yeah. being totally honest with the situation, because it's interesting that um, there's all these rumours circulating about a, a possible or a rumoured um, disagreement, shall we say, between mm-hmm. Ben White and um, Steve Holland. Well, I think the Athletic have all but confirmed that. Yeah, yeah, but it was interesting that he denied that, didn't he? He said mm-hmm. that there's no problem. So Yeah, which isn't true. Yeah, so exactly. He's... So we don't really know. Well, he's not actually, know. sorry, I, I don't mean to cut you. He didn't deny there was a bust up. He, he said, there's no problem. He said, there's no problem to me in the pair. The door's open. And then he said, I don't know, you know. I, he I said don't that really... that was not the reason why. Yeah, he said, I don't really know why yeah. you know, he's made this decision. And I just thought, no, nah, I'm, I'm not really buying that. But... Hey ho! Because Gareth Southgate would yeah. have known going into that press conference that a lot of the questions would be about Ben White, and he was going to be put in a let's face it, a slightly uncomfortable situation where you're going to have to say, people are going to say, look, this guy is one of the best, if not the best, right back in the current in the country right now. Currently, why is he not in the team? So he would have known that. So you know, uh, I think he not. could have gone about it better, yeah. um, Gareth Southgate, and I think the whole thing's a mess. And when I see Mikel Arteta like he did in December 2022, sticking up for Ben White, saying you all know the reasons and being quite upfront about it. I don't think we actually took that quote as seriously as we should have back then and saying that I know what Ben White needs, I know who he is and basically saying that he's got the love and support of everyone at Arsenal. Listen, I back my manager and I'm backing um, Arsenal starts just, and just all this. Just one thing on that. Is it and me or do you think that, that the timing of the contract, Ben White's contract was coincided to align with the England squad announcement. I Do you think, think Arsenal it, did that deliberately? Because I think they yeah, did. Um, yeah, to a degree. And then more clips came out today with some yeah. words, you know, describing him and adjectives about Ben White. So I, I, I think, yeah, I think it was, um, I think, yeah, I think it was deliberate. We've had a report saying that Arsenal knew that the FA were going to come out and be public with it. So I think Arsenal maybe were like, okay, cool. Well, we're going to rally our troops then. And I don't really blame him for that. It's quite clever. Listen, it's fine. I, I don't, I don't mind it. We're in a good, we're in a good moment at the moment, Arsenal, and mm. we're backing our players. And yeah, I'm, ultimately, I'm with Turkish on this. Like, if he has his reasons, and I, you know, for not wanting to play for England, fine. Like, and 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 even if he doesn't, even if he's just like, it's not what I want to do in my career. Whatever. I know that's not what he is saying, but I, I just, I'm not that invested in in Tash. Well, people get on to me for that because they're like, how can you not care? I'm like, half Italian, leave me alone. Like, why should I care? Anyway, um, back to it. Some We've super got, chat. Uh, got, there's some, some super chats on the topic you just you just spoke about as well. Okay, well, there. let's go on it. Uh, da, 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 da. If you had a job opportunity but didn't like the way the company was run, uh, it'd be it would be fair to turn it down. Why would it be different for Ben White? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think that's a fair point. Uh, what else have we got, which I missed earlier? Uh, Pierce says, my two favourite clubs, Arsenal, Real Madrid. I want Barca, so I can see my two favourite clubs kick Barca's ass this year. Uh, Nipping with a super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, M Connoisseur says, when's the talk is cheap or Laurie show coming back? I learned bear from those shows. We need to get something back with you. Who, who said that? Well. Learned bear, yeah? Who said from that? M Connoisseur. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, listen, you never know. Keep watching this space. The uh, draw is about to start. Oz says uh, we will sing She Wore a Yellow Ribbon Come May. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it, in the Champions League at Wembley. Uh, Rizvan says England is wasting a golden generation under Southgate. Ash says, uh, oh, no, we read that one from Ash. And Jay says, go on the left. No, never mind. Um, not reading that one. Anyway, let's move on. Um, cool. Okay, so the first name out, I've just been told that the first name out of the pot will be at home in the first leg of these quarterfinal ties. A reminder, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, City, PSG and Real Madrid. I know we've asked it a million times, but the moment is now. Laurie, who do you want? Quickly. PSG. Cecil? Uh, Dortmund, the two teams I don't want, Atletico Madrid and Man City. Turkish? Barca. Okay, the draw has begun. They've Liga. spun... Here we go. They spun the Champions League footballs with the names in there Here for the go. quarterfinals. And games. it's worth noting that anyone can play anyone. None of this. You can't play a team yeah, from no your own group it. or team from your own country. Come on, Obi McHale. Anyone could face anyone. John Obi McHale. He's lifted the trophy. He looks nervous. With our bitter rivals. Has pulled out. Oh, Arsenal! Oh, the first so team out the hat. And we could get anyone. Oh, Edu, there's a dude. Edu so there that with means we uh, first, the first time, first, on, right? He's there with Richard yeah. Garlic first. as well, soon to be Arsenal CEO. Yeah, so we will be at the Emirates for the first leg, yeah. people. First of the Premier League. The ninth or first tenth of April. Drawn out. We could get anyone. They really just went, all right, it <laughs> could be anyone here, people. Oh. I see it being That guy next to Obi McKell bears a striking resemblance to Ranieri. You know? Yeah, we, well, yeah. Do you think? Please, Dortmund, just come out of this ball. Please, Dortmund. So, is he you right? <laughs> BSG. Oh my God, this Arsenal is it. face. Oh, Bayern Munich. Bayern <laughs> Munich. <laughs> Kane. Arsenal versus Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of oh. the Champions League. We got a big one. <laughs> We pulled a big fish. <laughs> I, I must say, I'm more worried about facing Eric Dyer. <laughs> no bigger fish to fry here, boy. It's Former vibing. Spurs player, Harry Kane. Well, we thought we had one season without his penalties. Nope. <laughs> they are back. back. Wow. That wow. is big. Yeah, I'll take that, man. Yes. Yeah, Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. And we're going to react to that live with cool. um, the many, many of you watching as well right now. Um as the rest watch? of the draw takes place Atletico have just been pulled out as well but it's Arsenal versus Bayern Munich this is what we wanted people these are the draws that we wanted to be a part of the group chat's going um, off man there's a poll in the chat people Turkish right come on let's get your reaction my friend you, you've you been wanting a big tie since the groups here it is yeah I want, I want to Barca or Bayern because of some revenge really. yeah, I mean look if we've really come full circle from that interview, that clip you played um, from 2017, then Bayern's the perfect team to play. You know, they, they disposed of us quite comfortably seven years ago. It's a new time now and going into that fixture, I think we would be favourites. So we've got to get the job done, in my opinion. We've got to get the job done. Fuck Harry Kane, I don't give a shit about Harry Kane. You know, like he's a, he was an ex Tottenham player. I don't. I don't, I don't he's the world's best striker. Though, I don't care. I don't. I don't care player. about Harry Kane. Like just no, I'm not on. saying if you care or not. I'm just saying. No, but this whole fascination with our Harry. Fuck Harry Kane. This is Arsenal. He's an ex Tottenham player. He didn't win nothing Atlas cool. Like, he's a great striker, player. but I don't care about this Harry Kane stuff. I care about Arsenal, Champions League, it's Bayern Munich, big nights. Get the job done, man. That'll be, that'll be knocking out one of the teams that were more favoured than us at Real the start Madrid of the season. Out. Real Madrid City. So Real Madrid Arsenal, City. Bayern Munich, Atletico versus Come Dortmund, on. which Come means Real Madrid, Madrid will face one of PSG, on, Barcelona please. or please. Man City. Um, wow. And, I, and I'm interested to know yeah, if... Man City, man. The, yeah, man I'm, City. I'm interested to know what the semi-final draw, how that's going to be done. I probably should have... There's, no. there's another pot there that says semi-final. Yeah, so. yeah, that happens okay. today on this well, stream. Right. Semi-final draw should... Happens so, the happens the same. Manchester yes! City versus Real Cross. Madrid That's once again in the quarterfinals of the Champions <laughs> League. Wow. <laughs> I love it. We're in the thick of it now. Yeah, this is it. This is it. What a Tony Stark That was the one I wanted for now. City. Yeah, that's, if, if that's the team I wanted for City. When that. asked if who do you want for City, it would be Real Madrid. Same. That's quality. 
I, I'm not. I'm not too concerned about them too. To be honest, I'm just more. Actually, so Afle- PSG, Atletico really, yeah. but yeah, Real Madrid would have been second. So it's PSG. Send versus... them to Madrid, basically. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> and then, of course, we know PSG. that PSG will therefore be facing Barcelona. And by the way, Barcelona. that's going to be a great tie because neither side really compromised. Luis Enrique back at his mm. former club. Yeah. Both play attacking football. Xavi against PSG. And the quarters have been drawn. So we're going to find out then what our path to Wembley could look like. And we know that Bayern Munich are the first hurdle. I'm happy. Guys, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, 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 that is a really glamour tie there. That's that got is. so much behind it. That is. I like that it's got it's, the revenge narrative because the only thing I would have wanted in all those years, I would have wanted maybe Real Madrid for something different. But like... I'm with you, Turkish. Like some rival fans will go, lol, you think you're going to get revenge? Listen, I, people don't understand that we want to see where we are now. After that 10 2, the last time we were knocked out of this competition, I want to see if we've really come full circle. Mm. And there's no better yardstick than Bayern Munich again. Yeah. Uh, uh, eight so and eight years on or whatever. When was it? 2017? 2017, 2017 yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, seven years on. I am on the narrative that I know uh, Turkish. And let's be honest, people, Bayern are not the team they were a few years back. This year, they've not been that great. Well, that was all. Uh, don't get me wrong, they're still a very good team. And in fact, I think I might even at the start of the season predicted that they would win this. Wow. Bayern, Arsenal and Real City. I didn't really, yeah. Apparently, well, Bayern. big up production. Mm. Fair play. They, got Andrew, they, they Andrew heated up the balls then. I'm joking. It's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that right. is, yeah, no, that is, that's, that's. At good. least we didn't get City. At least we didn't get Madrid. At so least we winners didn't get of. Madrid. Winners of, the Win- winners of oh sorry people don't so um, production set up the set and you can see here Bayern Munich versus Arsenal and Real Madrid versus Man City so they they called it they're doing the semi finals balls now so winner of quarter final route. two so that's Atletico two, Dortmund Wembley. versus mm. move your hand yeah, John Obi Mikel see. Who? No one can see. I, I can't even hear. Okay, so it's Atletico Dortmund versus PSG That's or Barca, which means our route to oh the man, final, we got to play Real Madrid if we City. beat Bayern Munich, is Real Semi. Madrid or Man City. I didn't think that. I didn't think of that. Welcome to the Champions League, people. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> That's what it's, what it's, yeah, all, about. it's all about. That's what it's all about. Hopefully Real beat City and then we can do Munich and it'd be a nice... We would be at home first in that tie. So, if we're to get to the final, our last game before that in the Champions League would be the Etihad or the Bernabeu. Well, if you're going to win the competition sooner or later, you're going to have to play the big guns. Anyway, we've got a big gun in the quarter, so. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I am, that Harry Kane narrative a little bit is, is in me, only because we could stop him winning the silverware completely as well. You tried to go away, you know, it's go not, to Bayern No, it's Munich. not about stopping him, it's about us. Yeah, no, going through, yeah, that is yeah, the main yeah, reason, yeah. but it's also, I do play into the narrative as well. So, all I will say, yeah, for our, we're on the harder side of the draw, no question. I think the four best teams you, have come out on the side of the draw we're on. Right. Arsenal, Bayern semif- Munich, yeah. Real Madrid, Man City. Yeah. Dortmund, yeah. Atletico, Barca, PSG no, no. must be licking their lips. Yeah. Mm. One of them must be thinking, oh, okay. 100%. There's a, like, if you get to that final, for whoever of the four makes it from our side. Who's favourites there? PSG or, or Atletico? I think you've got to have PSG, Barca, Atletico, Dortmund in that order as the favourites. PSG, maybe Barca, I, I don't know. It's a, yeah, it's I don't hard, know. It? It's a tough one. But who... I mean, I can see it. I can see Diego Simeone stinking his way that's to the, the final, same, That's man. exactly what's in my head right I now. I can absolutely see him going... Park the bus and Griezmann. <laughs> That's it. On his way to Wembley. See, I'm saying, man, he plays a bit of football now, man. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, is that how yeah. he's going to... Maybe. To get over the line. Well, when it gets to crunch time, they tend to reverse. We when I saw them at Inter Milan... We stunk our way through Porto. Oh, absolutely. Don't get me wrong. Like, it got him to two Fair. finals. Fair. And Fair. I rate him Fair. massively as a manager, but... When I watched them away at Inter Milan, I don't know if we intentionally stunk our way through it though. It just that just I think it played out like that. I don't know if we intentionally went. Yeah, I don't think it was be, a game be, plan. Yeah, I think it was to try. But, but when I saw them away at the San Siro, I thought Atletico, I was, like they really were just less stay in the game. Yeah. Um, but then at home they. But Turkish the is done. right though. They're they're, in fact, they've, I think they've been playing a three-five-two for a lot of the season this season. They have tried to be a bit more adventurous. But yeah, probably when it gets down to the nitty gritty, they probably will revert back to time. 
We've got some uh, stuff to let you know as well that uh, Bayern Munich fans have been banned from attending the away leg of the Champions League clash. Um, really? Yeah, oh, so wow. uh, they've been fi- Bayern Munich have been fined 40,000 euros due to an incident in October, which was that Bayern Munich fans have been prohibited from attending, uh, uh, involving throwing of fireworks onto the pitch during the 3 1 victory at Lazio earlier this month. The club announced on Tuesday. So and they Munich won't appeal it either. They're not going to appeal the decision. Be travelling to the Emirates for mm, that that's game. A, that's, a, that's a good. That is. That's a good news for Arsenal fans and Arsenal itself. So what would it just be like a? It's a hope. An be a, empty away end. Yeah, yeah, which is brilliant for Arsenal. I think mm. that's that is that gives you. Maybe you believe that fans play a part to. I definitely do. How that much does that edge. work? Are we saying Bayern Munich fans don't find their way into the home crowd somehow? Maybe some do. Yeah, yeah. Some do, but. That won't be an atmosphere from them. No, well, that's true. That's, yeah, that's so brilliant. It's, it's that's interesting brilliant. as well, though, though, like just digressing slightly. Everyone's obviously going to be talking about Harry Kane, but looking through some of their players, man, I mean, Sane, Bat, Musiala, yeah, they've got good Serge Gnabry, they're a Alfonso good team. Davis. Bro. They're a good team. Yeah, Manuel Neuer, Kimmich, Delete. Oh, Musiala. Well, oh, there you know. This is it. Now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shit gets real. <laughs> You know, you're just like, yeah, you've just been floating. But, but now it's like, here we are. Is it just me? But I think that Arsenal have a very good chance in that. Draw. I'm not oh, very good. I think, I I think I we can do it. I can say that yet. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not confident. I'm not like, yeah, we're doing it. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm hopeful. I, I think, I think we can. Yeah, it's, I think, it's, I think it's we can. excitement right now. Yeah, it's, it's just excitement. Do you think that um, playing the first leg at the Emirates is, gives us a, I actually an think advantage? it's a, I've always felt it's better in the second leg but yeah, to, to spin a positive you know if you offered it to me I'd say I want the second leg at the Emirates but I think coming into a big tie to try settle the nerves I think better to be at the Emirates first Do we have- maybe not better but I see the positives in it I think if we went there got overwhelmed and suddenly the tie is done in, in the first leg you know I, I, I yeah I think that makes sense. I just sense. think with Bayern as well, it doesn't look as if they're going to win that. Well, they're not, are they? They're not going to win the league in Germany. So the Champions League is is going to be their um, holy grail. So will that extra motivate them? Just Nicolas Arteta has done well against Thomas Tuchel as well. Just to give, oh, yeah, he has, yeah. Yeah, he has. Just to give people the update of when this game fixture is going to be played. The 9th of April is to be decided. It's saying, but it's, it's got a hold of there for the 9th of April for the first game, and then the 16th the 10th. of April. Yeah, for so the let's, second. So let's just tell you who yeah, this is why you that would them. be. Go on, James. Either side of. Uh, you said 9th and 10th of April ninth, would be the yeah, first ninth leg. Yeah, for, ninth for 10th of April, all so the 16th. So away at 17th. Brighton and at home to Villa. So the good news is we have two home games that week. Nice. So we go to Brighton, not a long trip, 5 30 on a Saturday, that's in for. Then we'll play on either the Tuesday or Wednesday against Bayern Munich, and then it's Villa on the Saturday as well. Perfect, and then the 16th or 17th, what's that, is that in between? So that will be exactly the week after. Um, a trip to Bayern and then away to Wolves. Oh, that's the first, because I was gonna say, after what, what every- What are the dates of the semis, if you don't mind, do you have them? Yeah, I can. yeah I've got them. So. Must be two weeks later, around 30th of April. Yeah, so the the second leg, it's no. a bit later, okay, 7th and 8th of May. Okay, okay, so home to Bournemouth, away to Man United, that's what it's in between. And then the week after would be in between away Man April United 30th. and home to Everton. No, it's April 30th. Wait, we'll be held? Oh. Yeah, it says April 30th on here. April what? 30th and the week after. No, that's... For the semi, yeah, the semi-final oh, first stage so, 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 April sorry, 30th. you gave us the second legs. So the first... Oh, leg. sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, sorry, yeah, so, yeah. so for, say that again. So it would be after Tottenham away then. <laughs> Tottenham away, Bournemouth at home that week. It would be Chelsea, Tottenham, Madrid, basically. Or t- Chelsea, Tottenham, City. That's what it would be if we go through. Oh, yeah, it could be. So let me just get my yeah, you're up. right. It could be Chelsea, Tottenham, yeah, Tottenham Madrid away, or yeah. City, yeah. Bournemouth. Yeah. And then Madrid or City, and then Man United. Come. <laughs> Come. I think I prefer the banter era. <laughs> 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 no, look. No, this about. is this is great. This is this is I, oh, for me. I'm happy. No, like this is exactly right. what I wanted to be a part of. Um, these. This is the test. I think Arsenal need. This is the Champions League. Um, and look, we're, we're on the we're on the really exciting side of the draw. Let's show what we're about. I think there's pressure in the fact that we're coming up against really good opponents. I also think there's a slight pressure lifted. I think if we were 
say in PSG's place, I think there'd be real hope of a run to the final. Mm. And I, I think now it's about, okay, let's just see what we can do. But I also want to say this. I know I come across very, uh, just happy to take part. Don't get me wrong. I, I want to see Arsenal extremely competitive, 100%. have a real, real 100%. go and show that we belong there. I'd be really disappointed if we crash out without having a go. I've got no right to expect Arsenal in their first year back to just walk to the final, especially with that draw. But I want us to be really competitive. I want us to show that we belong here. I want us to make PSG, uh, sorry, Bayern Munich, really sweat for it, if they're to do it. And if, but I think we can beat them. Yeah, I absolutely think we can beat them. I think we should. And then Real Madrid City? I think we should we'll beat see. them. We'll see. Um, anyone got more to add? Uh, after We've got some super chats, so we'll go through them all. But <sighs> Yeah, just, just to say what I was saying earlier, actually, that um, we shouldn't just focus. It's obvious the Harry Kane thing is going to come up. But they do have other good players as well. I mean, I really like Musiala. Quality player. Um, and, you know, I mean, they've even got Serge Gnabry coming back. Serge Gnabry, yeah, so, Sane, yeah. um, Coman, that, you know, with Harry Kane, that's a proper, that's, a, that's as good a front three as you'll find around Europe, to be honest. Um, Musiala can play in the 10. I think, and, I, and I do actually think... What a goal that was. Sorry, that um, the fact that they're not going to win there, Germany, they're not in it really, are they? So Leverkusen's... It's very unlikely they're going to win that league. So all their eggs will be in the Champions League basket. That might make them a bit harder to beat. So it's, it, it's a very formidable fixture, but I do think that we can come through. I agree with you. We loads, should be confident. Loads of super chats. Oh, everyone. Fonzo Davies so they, as well. Yeah, they got, they got a squad, boy. Did you know what they've got? They've got a lot of pace and power. A lot like of pace. We're going to have to be... Luckily, we got... We've got players that can match that profile. Like we've got an athletic back four. Timber could have a big part to play in all this. You never yeah, know. So. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. They beat Mainz 8-1. <laughs> Literally. Well, we've got some great super <laughs> chats. Yeah, they did, but they got slapped by Leverkusen as well. And that's they got true. knocked out the cup. And I mean, but Man United gave Bayern Munich two decent games, to be yeah. fair. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. facts. I think Granit Xhaka will be on the phone to Arteta, you know, and being like, bro, here's some of the... Here's some things, you know, just for some say, advice. Tell us yeah, yeah, just here's, here's some things. So. Yeah, true. Thomas Tuchel's last season there as well, isn't it? Probably, he's probably, it, yeah. I imagine. Raphael says, uh, keeping Kane trophyless, let's go, come on, yeah, you that's, gunners. that's what I want. Toby S says, remember, no away fans for Bayern in the first leg. Yeah, no, thank you for reminding us of that. We did cover that as well. t Sal says, um, Arteta destroys Tuchel uh, with crap Arsenal teams. I mean, he has done well against him, to be fair. MG says, uh, Cecil, Cecil's levels of shookness need to be studied. <laughs> uh, Raphael as well, also letting us know about the ban for Bayern Munich fans. Um, T. Yassin says, Turkish, uh, will you guys get your revenge back or will we destroy you again, even at our worst? Can't wait for that Allianz Arena Harry Kane hat trick. Um, Microphone muted says uh, the Allianz Arena is no easy stadium to play at. So if you don't win with a huge margin at home, it will be ropes in Munich. Pierce says PSG will be in the final, calling it now. Yeah, I think they're probably my favourites to get to the final on that side. Um, Gunnar Shab says, uh, guys, I'm happy with this draw. We could be labelled as underdogs or dark horses, but we will be highly motivated here. And these teams come out to play. I agree with that. Merci bien la famille. What a lovely French name. Says, playing first at home is tricky. If we win, we will be against Real or City. Come on. Dev says, uh, us and Real through. Uh, we open up Real, then Barca versus Arsenal final. Mark my words, the Champions League is ours. If you're talking like a revenge run, oh, that's, that's it's it. Bayern Munich now. <laughs> It's, it's probably City, City for all the heartbreak. Yeah, and then Barcelona. And then it's Barca after 06. <laughs> that, is, that is some Thanos. Like, <laughs> I've got work to do. I'm, I'm picking back. up yeah. the stones on my way to the Champions I'm League. I'm inevitable. <laughs> and all I'll say is Thanos pulled it off. But, um, Art on the Street says, Timber, Tommy, Party, Jesus are back. I'm not scared. Lee says, rather take the second leg at home. Our midfield is strong. Have to play White and Tommy at fullback to deal with Sane and Gnabry. Kivior too inexperienced. Listen, the way Kivior's playing, I don't think those players walk back in, but I hear it. Maka says, um, another 10-2 incoming. That would be painful. Kimmy says, no Bayern fans away for throwing flares at Lazio. 
Arsenal fan down under says home first they encourages us to come out firing I hope you're right B, uh, B.O. says um, I fancy us over Bayern defensive we have not been great this season uh, let's hope Dyer and McCann start for them can see them getting cooked Defense. oh sorry defensive they have not been great this season apologies B.O. Um, I agree with that Rizan says Arteta playing AFTV uh, clips of troops at our at Turkish before buying games. Will do Robbie a will that Robbie do a sick. we're gonna do this Winston Churchill speech sick. again? Probably not, but can you imagine? He's got his whiteboard. This is what happened last <laughs> time. No, that would be cold. <laughs> that would be cold. Can you imagine that'd be unreal. <laughs> Some great comments coming in. I've sick. got one final very important question for Turkish. Would you like to stay live for the Europa League draw? <laughs> Fucking wrap it up, wrap it up. Whoa, whoa. Wrap it up. Don't want to deny you a. Whoa, who's left in your league, whoa. English teams wise? No, I'm not gonna lie, this, it's actually a good eight. West Ham, they, West they Ham. smoked Freiburg, innit? Liverpool, yeah, no, just, Liverpool, obviously, Liverpool they batter, smoked yeah, they Prague. That's Prague. it's just them two left, innit? And then Aston Villa's Conference League. Yeah. Without trolling, I would want a difficult run for Liverpool. I want them worked hard in that competition That's while they're training for the title. Of course, of course you um, so the teams are Benfica, AC Milan, Roma, West Ham, Liverpool, Marseille, Atalanta, so and Bayer Leverkusen. That's actually a good set. So I might be tucking in some Thursday night whoa, whoa football. <laughs> I might have yesterday. to. You tried yesterday, yeah. Liverpool, yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was late for Big Six. <laughs> Serious? I'm watching Europa League again. <laughs> Is that why they were having debates over three points or whatever? I tuned in briefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, I hope in the Euro- it's when it comes to the Europa League, I hope Marseille win it for Bamiyan. He's doing well there as well, actually. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Right. Xhaka wins wins it with uh, Leverkusen, the, the Bundesliga. You don't need to let fucking players go, man. Aubameyang wins the Europa League with Marseille. We're trying to stop Kane we can trophies. win the Champions League. We want League. Xhaka and Oba to win trophies. Fuck them, Hector man. Bellerin can get top not... 10 with Batiste. <laughs> Um, just, um, <laughs> top who, who else are we looking at? Where are Batiste? <laughs> what, what, what's wrong with wanting Aubameyang to do well? Just leave them. They're not Arsenal players no so? more. We want Kane to end trophy. So? We want Jacker and Oba to win no, trophy. No, 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 sorry. They're pushing for, for European football, Batiste. I'm sorry. So, so you know, that would be great for Hector Bellerin. We all wish him well. No, um, not me. Where's Ospina? <laughs> where's Ospina? Is he playing his football? <laughs> Al Nazir with Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> so, you know what? You may laugh, <laughs> but some have gone on to better things, Turkish. I saw enough of that over the years. <laughs> oh, my days. And um, I was tweeted by uh, Rio. You said, not Rio Ferdinand. Uh. The better Rio. He says, uh, Villa game will be moved to Sunday due to them being in the conference. The better he's, Rio. So he's right. The drink. Oh, that's a good drink. No, nah, just a, that could be a, a nice, nice guy on Twitter called Rio who's, okay. who's tweeted that, me. Um, he's reminded me <laughs> of the Conference the League draw as well. So <laughs> should we just stay live through the... Yeah, you and Laurie stay live. Yeah, we'll Laurie's go got the her. stats we'll there. We'll right. Conference League? We'll get... Com- <laughs> <laughs> when, you're, when you're sitting at that big table, man, it's kind of hard to... Uh, there you go, James, you're on your yeah. own. <laughs> Champions! <laughs> um, there's some great um, final super chats just to round it all off. Uh, Go. Uh, Dragon VNQS. Anyway, says, uh, given the pathway, we could potentially get to the final against Barca. Reve- oh, no, I did read that out. Ashwin says, uh, <coughs> Namaste from uh, small go- uh, from Big India. This would be, this year will be different. I hope you're right. Uh, I grow. Interesting name. Okay. Says, uh, good draw, City or Real out. Uh, no trophy for Kane. Uh, Akil says, Bayern wanted Rice, but we get it. We got him. Let's show them why. I tell you what, yeah, that was a little thing in the summer. There were a few players we went for that they wanted as well. Came out with Declan Rice, of course, Lee Jacobs. Um, boys, remember as well, last time versus Bayern, we had Mert Saka at the back. Now we've got one of the best defences in Europe. We'll be tight. Come on, you gunners. Nelly says, Spurs fans are on their knees praying Harry Kane will score. That's true. That's had a little something. Um, and Ching says, uh, "Why is Militao wearing an Arsenal shirt again?" I just got a message here from Guna Lee. Shout out to Guna Lee. He says, uh, "You're way too confident." I'm not sure. Is he addressing that to me or to all of us? I'm not so sure, but that's what he said. He's saying, "Cool down, basically." We're way too confident. I don't know if anyone's, he, if anyone's confident. I don't well, know. You might be. I don't, I don't, I'm no, no. I'm, I'm excited. Not excited. Yeah. Did you not come with me when I said that? I'm Turkish as well. 
said that we're confident we can win. We're not overconfident. None of us are saying it's a given. But what I'm saying is the way we're playing right now, up against the way Bayern are playing, I do think that we have a good chance. Um, he, Hugh from Big Six said absolutely horrendous draw. That's what he tweeted, which you know tells you that City fans aren't loving the way that's looked. But hey, let's show that we can be a part of that. That's the and, four fav- That's At the beginning of the season, the bookies' four favourites were these four teams here. So two of them will be out come April the 30th or whenever. Mm-hmm. As if production got it right as well, just line up. There you go. That is mad. All right, everyone. And look, and they've copied our kit. They've just switched it around. Shameless. All right, <laughs> let's uh, wrap it up. Um, Turkish Cecil, big thanks. Um, we're happy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. I just hope Kane remains trophyless. That's what we all hope. Uh, Laurie, big thank you to you as no well. Worries. Big thanks and you're happy as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm happy. Oh, like I said, I would have preferred PSG, but buying, it, that's fine. That's fine. I'm happy. You'd have preferred PSG, yeah? Wait, that. I, I explained why. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we, I anyway, 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 I'll go bad, back bad, into bad, this, bad, but bad, yeah. to wrap it up, I love this. Rizvan says. <laughs> you said PSG as well. No, I said Dortmund. Rizvan says, Bayern 10 2 was the start of the Turkish villain era. <laughs> Which, where, what's a famous villain in a film or series that has then come full circle and been like the good guy again. I'm Ooh, trying to think. Yeah, there's there's got to be someone. There will be someone that's come a good, good There will be someone. I don't like good guys, though. Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> you don't like good guys? Okay, let's just... All right, we'll wrap it up there, everyone. You like good oh, yeah, guys. But, no, you like the... You're a yeah. superhero guy, man. Yeah, I am a superhero guy. You like Hancock and them, man. Yeah, he's another superhero, <laughs> isn't it? What, the Will Smith movie? Yeah. He's an Iron Man spy the man that said Hancock. He's one of them, no? He's a superhero, he flies, he fucking saves the world. <laughs> All right, everyone. it has been the Champions League draw. Hope you all enjoyed it. That's the trophy we want to be lifting in, uh, well, it's a replica, um, in May or in June, actually, June 1st at Wembley Stadium. <laughs> Um, I don't know what you two are giggling at, but anyway, we'll round it off there. Big, big thank you. We'll catch you all very, very soon.